let's also bring on uh, about Samit Chauhan on the technicals as well. Samit, a very good afternoon and thank you so much for joining in with us uh, as always on Market Patafar. The first stock that you've picked out for us is uh, from the tyre space. You have Apollo tyres that is in, uh, you know, you're uh, talking to us about on the charts. This one surely is passing away in trade uh, today. Do you think this run-up that we are seeing for Apollo tyres is something that we could see continuing going forward? See, this particular, you know, tyre stock has been uh, buzzing since last uh, many months now. Recently, uh, you know, this particular stock went into a consolidation mode. And after a brief pause, uh, nearly, you know, uh, four or five weeks of consolidation stock again resumed its support trajectory. Uh, today, since morning, this stock has been buzzing and it's on the verge of a breakout from its important hurdle of 544, 545. If that breakout gets confirmed, then, you know, uh, the bullish flag pattern also gets confirmed, which has a bullish implication, obviously. And then the next leg of the rally can get uh, unfolded for a target of, say, 565, 570 for this particular counter. So overall, you know, the uh, bias screen is positive, but, uh, you know, as a moment to trader, one should wait for a breakout to happen beyond 545, and then one can go long for immediate targets of 565, 570. Okay, keep an eye out on those levels over there for 565, 75 that is coming in uh, over there for Apollo tyres. What's the word that you're seeing coming in for MGL on the charts now? All these, you know, city distribution gas companies, uh, you know, are on a roll since last uh, couple of months at least. Uh, they went into a consolidation mode for nearly, uh, you know, six to odd, uh, eight odd months. But now, uh, in the last three, four months, uh, they seem to have found their mojo back. Uh, we have already seen a decent rally in you know, most of these uh, counters and NGL specifically has been one of the rank out performances in this space. Stock is now trading at all time high, uh, you know, recently it dropped its all time high uh, beyond 1800 mark. Then again, some, you know, brief uh, profit booking happened in this counter. But overall, you know, uh, the relative strength is quite high and uh, looking at the overall uh, chart structure, the stock is poised for next move towards 1860-1900. Uh, so we certainly like this counter, uh, you know, from this pack. 1755 is the next level to watch for. Once this stock breaks out from this important level, and then we might see uh, again momentum resuming in this counter towards 18 and 18. All right, Samit, uh, coming to you yet again. Uh, SBI Life is what you have picked out for us. Uh, you know, life insurance counters are uh, insurance counters are in focus, in fact, because of the news flows that have been coming in and you know the updates that we are expecting. But tell us, what are what do you see on the charts for this one? In last one month, uh, we witnessed V-shaped recovery in this counter. Uh, stock has now broken out from its uh, previous uh, you know uh, all-time highs. Also, so it is now. Uh, trading in an uncharted territory and from here on also if you see uh, the overall volume activity in the recent rally uh, it's been quite uh, robust so uh, you know overall it, it is likely that uh, the stock is like towards 1700 so 1700 1740 these are the next level to watch out for any decline any minor decline profit towards say it's important support level of 1560 1540 would be a good buying opportunity and as i said stock is nearly poised for a move beyond 70. Yeah, ONGC, uh, the top nifty gainer that you have picked out, ONGC is buzzing away in trade, trading with gains of uh, almost 5% uh, right now. Last six months also given good gains of 37%. Tell us what are you seeing on the charts for this one? I think clearly this has been one of the uh, you know uh, top outperformers in uh, this space in last uh, four to five months. Recently also the uh, top witness a decent uh, you know buying traction from the levels of 260 to 70. So after spending nearly uh, three to four weeks around this important support cluster. Uh, you know, uh, the volume activity resumes substantially and price-wise also stock managed to give this as breakout from uh, previous orders of 280-85 on a closing basis. Uh, so in last seven to odd, uh, seven to uh, you know, eight uh, trading sessions, the stock has been rising continuously, uh, you know, nearly 15 to 18 percent in such short span. But still, you know, uh, we expect uh, this rally to continue. The next step is to watch out for around 340, 345 for ONGC. In case of any declines over 310, 305, uh, it should be considered as a good buying All right, uh, moving stock that's uh, uh, Cummins India Summit. That's the one you picked out for us today. Last six months, around a 20% return is what one is managing to see. What's the outlook now on Cummins India at 3,880 around? Uh, is it still a buy? 
Uh, see, overall, this stock has been in a strong uh, bull run, uh, you know, since last uh, couple of years at least. So there has been a series of high rise, high lows, uh, witness on this counter. Uh, but in last, you know, uh, five to eight trading session, this stock has been consolidating. There's some hint of, you know, uh, uh, exhaustion at higher level. Uh, overall, yes, the bias seems positive, but at least in the near term, you would expect some consolidation, consolidation with, uh, you know, a mild negative bias. So. Stock has now breached an important uh, support level of you know 20 day exponential moving average based around so 3900, 3920 odd levels. Uh, uh, so it appears that the stock is poised for some sort of profit booking and which was which which, which would then be followed by some sort of time wise consolidation. So as of now, the levels that we are expecting is stock might uh, you know correct towards say 3840, 3800 kind of zone. And on the higher side, uh, now the immediate. Uh, levels can be seen in the zone of 3920 to 3980. Surely keeping an eye on that, but let's move on.